we are all part of the water cycle. We use water every day and rely on it in our homes and schools. The water cycle never stops moving. Water moves into the atmosphere through evaporation and transpiration, condenses to form clouds, and returns to the Earth's surface as precipitation. It then infiltrates into the ground to create groundwater or runs off into rivers and streams. It doesn't start or stop. Instead, water is in constant motion. Of the water in the world, 97.5% is salt water in our oceans. The remaining 2.5% is fresh water. Most fresh water is frozen in polar ice caps or is under the ground. Less than 1% is available for humans to use. Central Highlands Water is responsible for providing drinking water to people in our region. We also manage reservoirs and catchment areas to ensure water is available for agriculture and the environment. Our service area includes Avoca, Balan, Ballarat, Beaufort, Buninyong, Clunes, Creswick, Dalesford, Learmonth, Maryborough, Navarre, Rokewood, Skipton and Warbra. When you turn on your tap, do you ever think about where the water has come from or where it will go? Rain falls everywhere but is harvested in catchments. Catchments are large areas that catch and direct water downhill and into our reservoirs. Reservoirs are natural or constructed lakes where water is collected and stored for use. From the catchment reservoirs, water travels through pipes to storage reservoirs next to water treatment plants. Water is also pumped from underground groundwater systems in parts of our region or piped from the Goulburn River system via the superpipe. Our water is then treated at water treatment plants. This process firstly removes particles from the water. Chlorine is then added to disinfect the water. Finally, in some parts of our region, fluoride is added to keep our teeth healthy. We carry out regular sampling and laboratory testing to meet strict government regulations. The result is safe, clean and healthy drinking water. Pipes transfer the clean water to storage tanks or basins and then to our homes, businesses and schools. We all need water every day for drinking, washing, cooking, cleaning, keeping our gardens green and for growing food. Think about when you have used water today. A lot of effort goes into producing high quality drinking water so you don't need to buy bottled water. A large portion of bottled water waste ends up in landfill, so by drinking tap water in a glass or refillable bottle, you're helping to reduce plastic waste. We've talked about where water comes from and what happens before it comes out of your tap, but what happens after you've used it? Wastewater, which is water from our kitchen sinks, bathroom, shower, toilet, laundry, washing machine and dishwasher, goes into a different network of pipes to the wastewater treatment plant. There, screens take out solid rubbish and billions of tiny bugs remove the organic matter in the wastewater. The water is treated and what's left is biosolids and recycled water. Biosolids can be used as fertiliser in agriculture. Recycled water can be used for watering ovals and gardens and is used to top up Lake Wenderee in Ballarat. Other treated wastewater goes back into the environment and the water cycle starts again. Water is a precious resource that we all use every day. Climate change may reduce the availability of water. We have made a pledge to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 20% by 2025. These greenhouse gases are emitted through a range of activities, such as the use of electricity for pumping water, treating wastewater and office space facilities. To support this pledge, we have implemented some sustainability initiatives, including the development of new energy efficient technologies, highly efficient aerators, pumps and lighting, the development of renewable energy systems, mini hydroelectric generators, and solar panels on our buildings. We are all part of the water cycle. How can you make a difference to the sustainability of our water resources?